Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. I'm using the cup tray mold again and I want to make something similar like my um, previous pour but this time I want to use the colors lavender and um, interference gold and the slate gray which has a purple tone to it with the resin ink so Again, I'm yeah, sorry for the noise. It's our cat, Bagheera. <laughs> anyway, I'm starting with um, a layer of clear. What is he doing? <laughs> I'm sorry for the noise, but it's a cat. So I'm starting with a layer of clear resin around the edges like I'm always doing when I want to have a sort of crackle effect and also that my micas are dragging into the center so you get a sort of web effect. I don't know how you really call it, it's more triations than a web effect. But anyway, first I'm doing this. Yeah, I just need to make sure that I get rid of all the bubbles. <clears throat> By the way, the resin I'm using for this pour is the Art Pro resin from the Resin Pro company, medium viscosity resin, and it has a working time from, I guess, up to 80 or 90 minutes. So Now I'm pouring the lavender on top. Lavender is the mica from Miss Calaberry from the Carrot series. And it's a fantastic color. color. I, I really adore it. It's beautiful. And my next color is the Interference Gold from Laura's Art Corner. Yeah, Laura, I, I just love this color, so I need to, to use it. I'm also pouring rather thick on top of my lavender color. And then I'm taking the clear resin. First I'm putting this into a cup because I'm pouring at the handle of the cup tray mold. So this keeps being rather clear, which I think for the effects I want to achieve, it's not a good idea. So maybe if you also want to do this pour, try to, yeah, try to make the crackle effect or something else with the handle and not try to keep it clear because you see what's happening. <laughs> the colored resin is trying to sneak into the handle. Anyway, I filled my mold up with the clear and I filled it rather to the top. So what I also, the second thing I regret a little bit, I cannot make a back layer anymore. I put too much resin into my mold, but sometimes I prefer to see actually um, the clear also. But I think in this case, a darker background would have been very beautiful or even a light one or maybe a light green. But this is for the next time. So now I'm pouring again the interference gold on top, giving it a very quick torch. <clears throat> and now... I'm also adding um, or putting the ivory color from Dippon into my cup. It's a pigment paste and I'm using the resin ink, the slate gray. I think I mentioned it before, two drops. Let my resin work a little bit with it. You see how nicely it's spreading. And I snip my piping back. I do it rather thin. 
and I'm pouring or I'm piping around the slate gray and I'm just going in circles that's still tidy but you will see I will just go round and round and round <laughs> Yeah, the mode I'm using is the um, cup tray mode from Modes and Shapes. So if you're interested in this mode, please check out my description box. And if you use the promo code PT5, you get 5% discount. So this is my circles or my spiral done. And I'm still pouring a little bit of the lavender. So the resin can really reach the center or rather to the center. I love this color combination a lot. I think it's beautiful. And yeah, there was something in my resin. And what I faced, even though I mixed it quite well, I have um, some little um, mica dots in my resin and I don't know why because I really really stirred the interference gold very well so there's me taking my glove off again and I'm pouring some of the they are like purple glass um, bits from Laura's art corner I put this into the handle so I have the opposite to the flower so something dark purple and I'm putting them a little bit down. Also use a little bit clear just to put them down so they are not swimming too much on the top. And then I'm designing my little petals. I just go from outside in where you see what I'm doing. By the way, I wonder what you think um, of the pour itself and if you want me to make another pour like this and what color I should use, maybe you have a preference, what I can do or if you want to play, make me pour something else, just, you know, just let me know so I know for the next videos what I can do. Anyway. So this is my flower done and you can see also the resin starts to drag into the center. Anyway, this is the next day, actually today, and time for demolding. You can see the clear part where the handle is and actually also the pattern where the handle is that the resin didn't drag into the center. And what's funny enough also, you will see it now, the flower got drawn to the side of the handle. It's very interesting. So I think I should really pour the handle not in clear. But anyway, I am looking forward to your comments, to your thoughts. But what do you think about the triations? I think they are really fantastic. Anyway. I love and leave you and take care, guys. Bye-bye.